Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Weekly Tarot reading December 9th to December 15, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we can jump right into it. By the way, uh, I'm going to do a new spread. It is just eight cards, a Tarot spread, instead of a four cards, Elemental Dignity Tarot spread. So let's see how it goes. It's a little bit more laid back on my end to make um, a simple spread than a enhanced elemental dignity spread. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week here, we do have a Queen of Wands, uh, followed by the next one which represents the energies that are supporting the topic. That is going to be the um, King uh, Knight, excuse me, of uh, the King of... Uh, the Queen of Wands, it is what we do have for the um, topic. And then we do have the Knight of Swords for the energies. Followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. And that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. The fourth card stands for the gifts and the blessings uh, from the week for you. And that is going to be uh, the Hierophant card. Followed by the fifth one, which stands as how people sees you or um you know how the people are taking you throughout the week we do have the uh, tree of swords the sixth card represents what can help your long-term goals here and that is going to be the king of pentacles followed by the next one which stands of what can hurt your long-term goals uh, we do have the queen of swords and the last one it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you capricorns that is going to be the queen of pentacles so quite crowded week i mean it's going to be quite a lot of people around for what it seems we are starting with the topic which is an individual here and we're going to take a look at the topic and the energy simultaneously because these two cards are tightly related so we do have a person uh, who is, uh, how can I say it, quite of a uh, leadership type of nature, a, a person who does not take no for an answer, and a person who knows you very well, I would say, and uh, a person who usually is very successful into business endeavors. It's provoked by something or by you. Um, it's kind of like you giggled his or hers um, emotions. Okay, and they are in a verge of making a, a this indefinite, not indefinite, but definitive decision about the situation in between you two. And this is going to be the topic. Now, important thing that you can help this person to decide in your favor is if whenever you have a chance to have fun with them. Okay, just go out with them. And try to make the time go by in between you two as pleasant as possible, right? Because the Queen of Wands leans leans toward a positive uh, decisions when uh, has that uh, exhilarating experience of life. But there is no doubt that that person knows you 
very well. It knows your weaknesses, it knows your um, uh, strengths, and the good thing is that it, it's quite okay with either, right? So it's not someone that you are yet to surprise with how bad person you are or how skillful person you are. I mean, this one knows you as the palm of his hand. So what uh, is the challenge here? We do have the nine of pentacles and whatever that proposition or an advance is for either business or relationship, the, um, the challenge is going to be probably to give another go, to give a second chance because the nine of pentacles in this case is about leap into development and that is going to be challenging for you to leap into development, to believe, to, to have a carefree behavior, if you will, knowing that you can't it is because there are things that cannot be overlooked now imagine that you know an ex comes around and wants to make it up with you but the things they have done in the past can these things be erased i don't know i mean it will be challenging but they can uh but it just you know that's it's it's going to be difficult for you challenging for you even to believe that this actually can develop any further so the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings, and that is going to be the Hierophant. Um, I don't know how big those gifts are and blessings, but these are the gifts of mutual understanding, okay? So I'm not saying a, a same page, okay? You may not be on the same page, but you still are gonna have a mutual understanding in between each other. And whatever disagreements you do have, the blessing for you is going to be finding a, um, a solution or a common ground in regards to those disagreements. And uh, the gift here is going to be the trust. I mean, the more time you spend with that person, the more you're going to trust them and the more they're going to trust you as well. So this is why you have to aim to spend as much time as possible, as pleasant time as possible with that individual, which is about to make a, a this definitive decision about you and an endeavor that relates to both of you. So the next card here, it is how people are going to see you. That is going to be the Three of Swords. Not a very good card into that uh, position. Uh, people are going to see you as a very... It's like a wounded animal, really. Uh, someone who is uh, afraid to trust because of the fear to being hurt, the fear of to experience similar situation from the past that one had been hurt back in the days. Uh, so in other words, people are going to see you as a person who allows to think the worst out of everything, okay, to assume the worst out of everything. Now, how you are going to act upon it? Well, that depends on you. I'm just saying what the card points here, how people are going to take on you. So with a, a big portion of skepticism here, even though uh, if people have some proposals to address you with, they may not because they don't, they kind of like assume that you are going to say no, right? So be a, uh, being a little bit more cheerful and showing that, you know, you kind of like still, how can I say it? You still believe that the best is yet to come is going to help you a great way into, uh, into this week. So the other card here represents what can help you. What can help your goals? I mean, long-term goals, whatever your goals are uh, throughout this week. And this is the King of Pentacles. So few things. Um, that is another person, actually. And uh, I, I wanted to say a few things about that person. Um, this is someone who is very generous. Okay, um, it, it, it does not relate to the Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands is something different. That is someone who is going to be always around and you can um, pretty much just keep up a, a casual communication throughout the week, but you need to keep that person around. Okay, so that is someone very generous, uh, usually self-absorbed. Now, that person cares only about personal benefits, but for one or another reason, his or hers personal benefits completely align with your personal benefits. So in other words, to get, you are chasing the same goal together. And for one or another reason, that person here, the King of Pentacles, have the necessary means to 
how can I say it to to uh, achieve that goal? And here it appears your ship. I mean, that person appears your ship and you need to maintain communication with him and cooperation as well with him or with her as well. Uh, the next card points to what is going to hurt your goals. And we do have another person that is Queen of Swords. Very tricky and elusive kind of, and elusive kind of person. Someone who is very emancipating and very, um, how can I say it, calculative kind of a nature. That is a, a, a like a chess player. Someone who thinks few steps ahead and is determined to push their things through on your expense. Okay, so that is uh, this kind of like a, a clever individual that thinks that mm, everybody owns them something. Okay, and they they, they, they they just uses people around without giving them anything in return. So that is someone who you should not relate to uh, at all. I, and I mean at all. Uh, they are very mean usually and very um, emotionally detached to the problems of others, to your problems as well. I mean, I'm going to be surprised if they even want to listen to about what kind of a plight you're going through. So this is a way how you can test who these people are, you know, talking about a, a, a poignant situations in your life, see who relates with them and those who are not relating relating with uh, what you're going through. These people just simply need to go. And the last card here represents to the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Very big one, guys. It points to whatever you are going through, there is still yet potential to be found. So right now, at this week, September December 9th to December 15, 2019, you have to turn your glance upon your developing endeavors, developing things ongoing enterprises instead of seeking new ones because this card is a pure testimony uh, testament that there are options available there are opportunities there is there are ways here to for and explore so that being said capricorn this was your weekly tarot reading december 9th to december 15 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye